Well, there's two things. One is ignorance of the public. And they are misinformed by people who wish to misinform them. Like, if you don't want GMOs, you can get on a website and you can make all kinds of blogs of all kinds of things that aren't true and make sensationalism. And uh, so you have ignorance combined with, with purposeful misinformation given to the public. And the public, unfortunately, even in Europe and the United States, is not well educated in the principles of plant growth, agriculture, Mm -hmm. and how things work. So they, they can easily be swindled. I was looking for a job. <laughs> After I got my PhD, um, first of all, I grew up in the tropics. Uh -huh. After I got my PhD, um, several, only two jobs presented themselves. One was on ornamentals. Well, I didn't think ornamentals were very important. Uh, and the other came about uh, because the United Fruit Company was collapsing due to disease problems on their bananas. So I was hired, along with a lot of other people, to to put research into bananas because the United Fruit Company and all the big companies were started by soils people and engineers. So the major um, knowledge of the fruit company people who built the world banana industries on a commercial basis was engineering how to drain swamps, how to build canals, how to get large engineering operations going, mm -hmm. how to build railroads. No biology. No biology. They knew nothing about agriculture. So after a while they began to collapse mm -hmm. and then they got a new vice president and he said, well, to save the United Fruit Company we have to do some biology. So we had the best research program in the world in the 1960s on bananas in La Lima, Honduras. And I was part of it, although first I went down to the jungles of Costa Rica to solve bacterial wilt. Mm -hmm. And uh, that took me five years and it's solved. So when bacterial wilt started in Uganda, they, the papers were so old they never read them. <laughs> That's a difficult question. Um, first of all, organized research by companies is extremely good. It beats all the research of all the institutes mm -hmm. because there's an objective. And if you don't get to that objective, you're out. So there's no deadbeats. Mm -hmm. That's one. Uh, the objective is good production at a profit. Okay. And the institutes have quite different objectives. And, uh, you know, they... Uh, theoretically, uh, you would think that the objectives should be the same because, as I used to tell my students in Davis, uh, People do farming not to produce food. The only reason people farm is for money. And as long as you don't know that, then you do all kinds of foolish things in relation to these poor people struggling to exist. So the objective of the do-gooders is increase food supply. The objective of the farmers is to make a living, make money. Food supply is irrelevant to the farmer.